As mentioned in my recent 5700 XT versus 2070 Super comparison, one of the most regular questions I get on my weekly live stream Q and A's is which out of those two graphics cards should I buy? And honestly, before I can even open my mouth and get a word in edgeways, the chat is absolutely filled with comments saying that AMD's drivers suck and you shouldn't buy the, the 5700 XT specifically because of that. Now, those comments have been getting more and more frequent over the last month or so, mostly due to a reasonable ramp up in number of uh, users and content creators reporting issues, specifically black screens, with those uh, newer cards, specifically with the latest AMD driver version. And so in this video, I wanna walk you through what those issues are, what the fixes are, are available right now, and specifically since AMD just launched their 20.2.2 driver, if they still suck or if they fixed all of the issues. Now let's give you a little background first. The main issue that people, especially owners of the RX 5700 and 5700 XTs were reporting was the black screen issue I mentioned. This was basically when they launched a game or any GPU intensive application, the whole display would go black, it would turn off and the, the system itself wouldn't hang or wouldn't uh, you know, restart, it wouldn't uh, crash, it's just the display output that would stop working and generally speaking the, the first fix for it is to you know, press the reset button and reboot your system. Now there are a few other more temporary workarounds, but the, the main way to, to fix the issue at the time was to boot into safe mode in Windows, use DDU or display driver on installer to remove the existing drivers and then reboot and fresh install with the latest driver. And that generally fixed the issue for most people, at least for some amount of time. Now, I cannot claim to have had that or basically any other issues with AMD drivers, especially in the recent months and years. I've been testing stuff like this 5600 XT and the 5700 XT that you've seen recently, and I have not had any major issues, specifically no black screen issues on either card. In fact, ironically, I have had a black screen issue, but that was with the 2070 Super, as I mentioned in the comparison, although that was pretty much specifically Battlefield 5, and I think it's an issue with Battlefield 5 itself, rather than with you know Nvidia or their drivers or anything like that. And so, it's just a, a bit funny to see the uh, the other side. Now, AMD acknowledged the black screen issue in their known issues list on their 20.1.3 driver release a couple of months ago now, and since then has been trying to work to fix them, but in statements, and actually very similarly to me, had a lot of trouble trying to replicate the issue and so found it difficult to find out what the actual root cause of the problem was and therefore took a while to be able to fix it. One of the things AMD mentioned could be causing the bug was when the graphics card switches its sort of performance modes, so going from say an idle state, a low power mode, to a you know full speed gaming mode, the driver could crash in between that uh, sort of process and cause the, the display to stop outputting. Now, sometimes just unplugging and replugging the display cable can fix that, which is nice, but like I mentioned before, the main workaround fix is generally to uninstall the driver and reinstall it, which I know is a pretty big pain if you're just trying to play some games and then you need to spend half an hour uninstalling and reinstall drivers. With that said, in their latest 20.2.2 driver release, their fixed issues list is absolutely massive and a lot of those issues are to fix black screen bugs, both in specific games like Witcher 3 and more generalized fixes as well. Now they do mention in the known issues part that there is still likely some users who will still experience issues and they are going to be very carefully listening out for those users to make sure they can fix the problems that they are you know, having as quick as possible. On that front, they're actually launching a new program called AMD Vanguard, where if you're so inclined, you can sign up and become a graphics driver beta tester, test out their newest features and drivers and, you know, see if you can spot these types of bugs before they necessarily have to publish it to everyone else. This is actually a really good step as it shows that they're planning on not using just everyone that owns an AMD graphics card as their beta tester and instead a more hardcore, more dedicated and specifically much more consenting audience to test these issues and you know drivers out before they let them loose 
to the public. One saving grace for AMD's drivers is that they actually offer quite a lot of features and some of which you might actually use on a semi-regular basis. There's stuff that I've covered before like Radeon Anti-Lag which is a effectively free way to get lower input lag while gaming. There's Radeon Chill which is a good way to reduce power usage and temperature as well, hopefully not impacting your game performance too much. There's also their Relive or Relive set of features which includes streaming from the driver itself or recording and in fact on that streaming note they actually have what almost looks like a full copy of OBS just built into the driver there's scenes you can add your webcam you can choose which platforms to stream to it's actually pretty cool and a load of other stuff too like their mobile AMD link app and auto overclocking and actually just overclocking and monitoring in the driver too so it definitely is a, a pretty good driver to have if you're willing to uh, put up with the generally slow update. So with that said, especially when it comes to the 5700 XT versus 2070 Super, is it worth going with an AMD GPU? Honestly, I think so. I think it's really easy to paint the picture that this, which if you look at the numbers of number of people affected by the issue versus number of people who bought AMD graphics cards recently, it's a relatively isolated issue and I think it's easy to paint the picture that this issue is a, a deal breaker for all and if you buy that, you know, these graphics cards, you will have that issue. But one, it's fixed now. Two, AMD have proven that they are determined to fix issues as soon as they possibly can. And three, you get such a good price to performance advantage over a 2070 Super that I think it's worth it anyway. With that said, those are my thoughts and I would definitely love to hear yours in the comments down below. And actually, I'm gonna run a poll up above. If you have an AMD GPU, or actually if you have any GPU, have you had any issues with it, whether that's drivers or hardware? Let me know in the, the poll up above. And like I said, let me know your thoughts about AMD's new drivers and actually AMD's drivers in general, Nvidia's drivers and anything at all. Let me know in those comments down below. Now, if you like this video and want to see more like it, feel free to hit that subscribe button. I post every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. And you can also check out the links in the description down below. There's gonna be links to the graphics cards I've mentioned, the 2070 Super, the 5700 XT, and I'll throw the 5600 XT in there as well. Those will be Amazon affiliate links that will take you to your local Amazon store where you can see pricing when and when you watch this. If you wanna support the channel in more ways than just watching these videos and checking out that subscribe, button then you can check out the rest of the links in the description down below too. There's Amazon and Overclock GK affiliate links that don't cost you anything to use but massively help me out when you do use them. There's also stuff like merch for hoodies and t-shirts like this one which I just really like how incredibly soft this is or Patreon for ad free videos and support me directly too or even Streamlabs OBS if you want to start streaming. Otherwise, that is pretty much it. Feel free to check out some more videos over there, including the 5700 XT versus 2070 Super comparison video. And if you've got any questions, feel free to leave those in the comments down below. But otherwise, we'll see you all in the next video.